224. Good morning. You're on Talk Line. Hi. This is Nicole calling. Thanks for having me. Yes. I'm calling about a piece of legislation that was recently brought up in the North Carolina General Assembly. And this was a bill that um, basically would enable our state government to enter into agreements with local law enforcement entities, and it would allow them to install electronic devices on state highway right-of-ways. And there was an amendment that was added on the Senate side to include ALPR, Automatic License Plate Reader Technology. So basically what this would have done if it had passed, it would codify into law that a local police force can install these uh, plate reader devices on a state highway. And then under this, they would be able to um, establish patterns, track where folks are going. Um, they could, you know, establish the route that you take to drop your kids off at school and then head to work the time of day that you head home in the evening, um, days that you might end up running late, how often you run late, and those kind of patterns uh, can be established from the data that's collected from this technology. Mm. I consider this type of data collection to fall under the category of a general warrant, um, which basically a general warrant would enable law enforcement to just search Anybody in a given area or doing a certain activity, um, they'd be subject to some sort of search without any specific suspicion of a crime that can be named. And under North Carolina's um, state constitution, it specifically outlines that no general warrant shall be issued because it's invasive to the liberty of the people. Now, we have seen the sort of... Um, you know, like the TSA, for example, that would be an example of what kind of activities occur as a result of a general warrant. And from them, I mean, we've seen the kind of crime and abuse that has resulted in the airport. How many iPads have been stolen since the TSA was installed to perform random luggage searches? And, you know, how many times have we heard that the backscatter machines only give for the images or they don't store the images only to learn that these were lies and the information that they're collecting is indeed being used in a way that is very intrusive. Um, you know, I think that we can, when we give law enforcement, any law enforcement entity, unfettered or unquestioned access to invasive technology, we can expect this kind of behavior and expect abuses to occur. And just imagine how valuable that information would be to people's daily patterns um, combined with DMV information like your address and those sorts of things. How valuable would that be to a pervert or a thief? who happens to be employed by the state or by a local police department. Mm -hmm. Now, the reason I'm calling about this is because I saw in the Times News an article about the legislation, um, State Senator Rick Gunn, he was upset about the bill being shelved for now because um, he wanted this to pass and he supported the amendment. And he made the statement about, said, there were a lot of concerns conspiracy theories about how the cameras could have been used. You know, as far as conspiracy theories, I would ask, is our state constitution written from the perspective of a conspiracy theorist? It's written and in a manner that outlines the rights of the people, you know, affirming them in writing so that we are protected from abuses of government that are not conspiracy theories, but exist within human nature and have been proven to occur throughout history. And I would also ask, um, if this technology were implemented, how long until it starts being used to give traffic tickets um, for people who are speeding or, you know, someone who is operating on the road, it, uh, say their license is just expired. Yeah, how long will it be before they start using the information for things that they said they would never use it for? Right. Well, and 
you know, they already do this in other places. Sure. If you look at Australia, they have sensors on their roads. Nobody speeds because they're going to be sent a ticket automatically. Um, and we just got rid of these red light cameras in North Carolina. So why would we want this? Uh, and these actions are never taken with the people wanting them. It's taken because legislators sneak them through yeah. um, when people aren't paying attention usually. Yeah. Well, it and, passed in the yeah. House 79 to 36. And uh, when it was in the Senate, they just decided they weren't going to, uh, they weren't going to, they were going to shelve it, you know, table it. Uh, so that's what saved and, us. I think we should, we should write to our, our uh, and we're running out of time, we should write to our congressman, uh, to, our, to our state senator, uh, Rick Gunn, here, and to our representatives and tell them, uh, do not pass that bill. Yeah, absolutely agree. Thank okay. you so much. All right, thank you. 222-9224, 222 Yeah, the, the, the state uh, senate was close to approving that that uh, scanner bill, and they just tabled it. Uh, and this this is one of those one of those things that you know you can you can make many many good uh, reasoned arguments that that the information could be used for good to save lives to help people. But when you start talking about the thing, the abusive nature of that, it's like the, it's exactly like the red light cameras. The red light cameras were law enforcement dished out by non-law enforcement people. The people that put up these, these signs were private entities, put up these cameras were private entities. And they said, well, we get a police officer to come and review these uh, uh, before we send out the tickets. Well, somebody sat there and looked at them, but that's it. This was law enforcement being done by private entities when it should have been done by uh, by actual law enforcement. Uh, you know, they could have they could have put a police officer right there and observed the very things that the camera had observed, given tickets to the people that they observed, and they could have gotten to the same point. But those things were made to raise money for private entities is what they were for. These companies that were putting up this expensive equipment, they wanted to do it so that they could make money. That's what they wanted to do. And law enforcement should not be a money-making proposition. It, it just puts itself uh, up for too many uh, offensive things. Now, these, these scanners that they have, license plate tracking, on the on on state roads is uh, is a, a abusive uh, law enforcement waiting to happen. There's so many things that 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 people wanted to do with those things with the information that they get. All right, two 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 nine two two four.